What's up, Collider fans? Josh McCuga here with Grace Hancock. You guys might remember us from a fateful show called Collider TV <laughs> Talk. We're going to do our top five best television shows of 2017. These are our best new shows of 2017. Not overall, best new shows. Let's start with my number five, Grace. Uh, Mr. Mercedes. Uh. It was an audience channel, a channel not many people watch. Brendan Gleeson, unbelievable show based on Stephen King. Didn't want to watch it because I don't like scary things, but I love Mr. Mercedes. Me too. I loved it. It comes up later on one of my other lists. Okay, so what's your But five? my top, my number five for new shows was Glow on Netflix. It was so enjoyable. It was such a great first season, and I can't wait for season two. It kept me interested throughout. Boom. Number four, I'm going with The Deuce on HBO. Started slow, two James Francos. You're like, that's too many James Francos. You were right at the beginning, but then Maggie Gyllenhaal comes full circle. There are more boots per capita in this show and really and truly it doesn't get in the way because it's a show about porn, prostitution and 1970s New York which is just trash. What's your number four Grace? <laughs> For my number four I did Big Mouth also on Netflix. I thought this was so funny. It was so crass and ridiculous yep. but it was so innovative. It's like nothing I've ever seen and I found myself laughing way more than I ever thought I would and sometimes ashamed that I was laughing as hard as I was. Uh, the missus and I watched it on our honeymoon a couple days. It was so raining romantic. outside so we watched some Big Mouth. Nothing says just married like Big Mouth. No, Correct. fantastic series. Uh, number three for me is Glow to go off mm -hmm. on your. I loved Glow. I thought Glow was the perfect show. It was the first 30 minute show that was like a drama dramedy that mm -hmm. I wanted more of. Like you rarely get that an hour. Yeah. Like, That's too much. Glow was a vision. Allison Brie, that whole cast, absolutely nailed it. For number three, of course, also Netflix turned out to be a big uh, thing for me this year, uh, was American Vandal, hashtag I drew all the dicks. Who I drew the dicks? This. I love true crime. It was like Dateline, but funny, but <laughs> fake with act. I mean, it was just so, the deadpan humor in that show, like the opening thing of him yes. being like, what, what do you mean? What? A, that's a stupid quit. I was I'm like, doing. I'm in. Really? I loved it. I will watch that whole season again. Yeah, it's awesome. It's and great. it's getting a season two. Yeah. All right, speaking of number two and season two, coming in at number two, best new shows of 2017, The Punisher, also on Netflix. Marvel, listen, Marvel had a bunch of series come out this year, but none equaled the power punching packed action. That was just doing peas. I liked it. The alliteration worked. Of The Punisher, John Bernthal kills literally uh, everybody. Yeah. Blows up entire cities, people, whatever is in his way, The Punisher will kill, and I loved it. I thought Punisher was the best, in my opinion, the best Marvel series they've ever done on Netflix. Oh, 100% agree with you. Um, and also, it comes up later on one of my other lists. Okay. But for me, for number two, I did Smilf on Showtime. This is like one of those shows that I feel like not enough people are watching. Frankie Shaw created it, writes it, stars in it. It's phenomenal. It's super, super raw and unapologetic, but because it's just truthful storytelling, it's not crass for the sake of being crass. It is amazing. It's funny, it's sad, you guys gotta watch it. And Smilf, uh, she just got nominated for Golden Globes mm -hmm. and for writing and for starring, whatever, the whole thing. That show is very underrated and I'll tell you what, a vision in that show, Rosie O'Donnell. This is the best I've ever seen Rosie O'Donnell. I, like, who knew? Who, who knew? ever thought you would say that? Who knew? It's the best I've ever seen Rosie. Uh, unbelievable. And my best new show of 2017 comes from Amazon and the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. We were talking about it when the pilot drop is one of the best pilots you'll ever see. And over eight episodes, probably the most smartly written show of the year, the funniest show, Tony Shalhoub, Rachel Brosnahan. It's an unbelievable cast, the great story, the best show of the year for me, New 2017, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Grace, who's your number one? Words, we're killing it, you guys. <laughs> for me, number one is for sure Handmaid's Tale. This was like, unfortunately, very poignant and kind of timely yes. storytelling. Not a fun Dark. binge, like not necessarily like, what are you doing later? Let's just like pop in a quick handmaid. No, no, no. It's like, you're gonna hunker in, you're you're gonna cry, you're gonna feel bad about everything, but it's, you need to see it, you need to see it. It's something that needed to be made and they made it impeccably. Wins all kinds of awards. It's darkly all the scary. Awards. But uh, that's our best new shows of 2017. I'm Josh McCuga. I'm Grace Hancock. You guys can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Josh McCuga. At Mrs. Grace Face. And we will see you with our best shows of 2017. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. That's why we don't have clutter Student TV talk up. anymore.